Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. Today I want to talk to you about measuring visual acuity in children. Uh, but before I do go into that topic, let's tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, give us a call at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You'll have one of two choices. You can either fill out a questionnaire or you can schedule a consultation to talk with me directly about how we might be able to help. Now let's go back and talk about measuring the visual acuity of children. There are a lot of different methods depending upon the age of your child from infancy into um, you know around four or five years of age, maybe even older depending upon your child's ability to developmentally perform. There are many different ways to assess acuity. Now I'm going to start off by kind of showing you some of the things that we do for measuring the acuity of infants. And we have these paddles where we can measure their ability to see stripes and pay attention to things. Again, this is an infancy. And you would block your face out with some of these things. You can see there's lines on here and how much they might pay attention to those lines could tell you what their level of visual acuity is. Now, moving away from infants into maybe more of a toddler phase, I'm gonna show you some of the things that we might use to assess toddlers. This one is orientation of hands. So they would kind of have to show you which way the hand is pointed. Is it pointed up or off to the side? This one is called tumbling ease. And this is similar. They would have to tell you which direction is the E pointing. Is it up or down or to the side? This is a um, just a set of pictures. If you can kind of see there, there's quite a few different pictures on here. Let me get it where the camera can actually focus. But there are things like a hand, and it looks like an old-fashioned telephone, though, at this point, right? And um, there are, um, there's a horse and a duck. And then these are cards called the broken wheel. And in this particular test, what you can do is you can show the child, here's a car that has normal wheels versus here's the car that has broken wheels. And you ask them to tell you from different distances which one has the broken wheels. Now these can all be used to assess your child's visual acuity. But as you can imagine, if you're having them just say, can they see a picture on here? Or can they see the broken wheels versus solid wheels on a car? Or can they see like a hand, right, like this? or the letter E, that is quite a lot different than whenever we measure their visual acuity. And this is a small chart for up close, but whenever we measure their visual acuity using a letter I chart, totally different. So as you can imagine, if you're able to assess a young child, either an infant or a toddler, and we get a range of say, oh, 20 to 50 on the size with the hands, what does that actually translate over to in terms of the size of, say, something on the letter chart? Well, 2,400, 2,200, that top one, that biggie there is 2,200. It doesn't translate very well. So what that means is that you might have an assessment when your child is really young and go, oh, well, they can see 2,040. And then, whoa, what happened? The next year you go in and they're like 20, 80 on the acuity eye chart. It could very well be that you went from some sort of a picture where they were assessing their eyesight to now they're seeing the big boy letters on the eye chart. And those things don't translate real easy over size to size. So if they saw something bigger that they could kind of figure out, it might mean that their visual acuity seems like it got worse, when in actuality, it's really not worse, it just stayed the same, it just didn't translate well from one thing to the other. So these are things to look for whenever you take your children to have a visual assessment, and make sure that you kind of understand what they're seeing, you know, from prior to maybe a new evaluation, so you don't get really worried that, wow, their visual acuity really dropped. When maybe it didn't, it just didn't translate well from one large item that you were trying to assess, like a hand versus a letter. Now, for more information about how we help our patients, you can go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. Um, like the video if you liked it, and also subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. And if you feel like this could be helpful to someone, please feel free to pass it on. 
Thank you.